Hey guys, 2nd of August. Um, I just thought I'd show you the figs, what's going on. So, for anyone that doesn't know, um, this, the, all these pots are part of a, a fig trial to see if I can get main crop figs, which are the second crop of figs that they, the plants produce outside here in the southeast of the UK, um, without a head start. So, here are all the figs. The idea... Well, to be fair, at the, at the start, um, these were all cuttings, which were taken in sort of like November, December, which I bought off people from the UK that grow these varieties. Um, so they've all, they're all first year plants, except from a cup, like one or two, which I've had for a while. But yeah, um, the plan is now to grow all of these plants as single stems up to maybe about a foot and a half, something like that and then encourage them to branch out and maybe send three or four branches out from that point, um, which should hopefully bear the figs each year. Um, and then you prune it back to that kind of framework, if you like. Um, I, some of them I haven't, they're still growing as multi stems just because I wanna see if I can get the other half of the stem to root um, and then I'll cut that off and then grow it as a single stem. So yeah, it's doing quite well. What I've noticed though is that um, despite a lot of these cuttings kind of getting all um, all the leaves frosted off in the very end of April, start of May, um, what I've noticed is that they are now trying to put out some main crop figs. So for an example, actually Azora's Dark here. So this is called Azora's Dark. It's meant to be a good one for cold climates and you can see it's got some main crop figs here which I'm hoping at least one of them will ripen so I get to taste it. Um, but some of them are very late into developing the figs. So this one is called, I'll show you it because it's hard to pronounce, Leela severa figae, and it's put out a little fig here. It started to put out figs at all the other nodes, but what I've done is I've just knocked them off because I want to just see if I can get, just get this one to ripen, although it would be very late. It'd probably be in November if it did because it's only just put these figs on. Um, same thing with uh, this one, which is called Yellow Long Neck. Um, got some nice little figs there. And again, what I'll probably do is just leave like one, this one maybe, to see if I can get a very late fig, just to taste it really at this point. It's not, you know, I'm not, it's not all gonna be about productivity because this is the first year. Um, this one's got one which I think should ripen probably in like September, October. So yeah, there's a, there's a few that have done that. Um, some of them did put out main crop figs, like this one, which was called Genovese Nero. Um, there's the remains of it. Well, there are a couple and they dropped them, but now they're really pumping out figs, which is really impressive. I'm super impressed with this. Um, unfortunately, it is, like I said, quite late. But what I'll do again is just remove some of them and leave maybe one or two just to see if I can get some. Um, so there are the, all the potted figs. Um, the in-ground figs. The one that was actually the most productive last year was this one here called Ronde de Bordeaux, which is probably the best variety for main crop figs in colder climates. It still ripens very late here. I'm hoping that once it's an established tree, because it's still quite young and it doesn't really grow much each year. It does, it's not really bushing out much, it's just sort of, yeah. But I'm hoping once it's established, I'll get main crop figs ripening in September. And these were really delicious last year. Um, my other in-ground, which I was growing for the Braber crop, which is the, f the, the first crop, the fruit that comes on the last year's growth. You can see this is called Peretta, this fig. It's got some Brabers on, they're still quite hard, they're not ripening yet. So, yeah, but it's also popping out so many main crops as well that I might, I think I might actually get one or two of these to ripen. So yeah, there we go, there's a little tour. Um, I'm hoping that the in-ground figs, the Peretta and the Ronde de Bordeaux get fairly big and then they will be the kind of big producers, hopefully. Um, and then the potted figs will just give me a really nice variety of different ones to try. So, uh, 
yeah there we go thanks for watching lots of love lots of peace speak to you soon